To me, where the wild things are is a place that exists in our minds. It's a place of liberty and shamelessness. It can take a split second or a lifetime to find it, but once you do, you'll be free. Everybody meet Olivia. This is my baby. My new baby. My first new baby. And then Socks is my other little baby. She great. They're both girls. At least we think they're both girls. They might be a girl and a boy. But definitely Olivia is a girl. She is Siamese. Partial Siamese kitty. Socks hiding. So. Now. Hello. Good morning. I also buy one whole night without eating. She just ate this morning. Cause I don't know how to give her. I let her sleep. She ate some cream, a potato soup, and some water. Cause I don't have no milk yet. But I'm going shopping in there. Hopefully. Definitely. So I can make sure she got some milk and stuff. I'm thinking about getting powdered milk and mixing it with water. So I can keep a whole bunch of milk around for her to drink. She keeps big and fat. Olivia jumped out of my arms on the street coming home from Grandma's house and ran into the woods, which is gross, and I'll show you later on. And I went in there, and I couldn't get her out because uh, I didn't see her, but I heard her, and it's like a lot of clothes on the ground. So I'm in the woods looking for her with Olive, hoping she'll meow like she's doing now, but she didn't. And I turned around, it's a damn dog there. So I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. I hate. I don't know, I just hate, I didn't know what to do. I hate her being out there all night because it was cold. And Olivia is younger than Olive, and I hope she survived the night because she is half her size. She's barely weaned. She looks like she might be a month old because it's two different sets of kids. So, I don't know. I think Olive got to go potty, but she got to, but she needs dirt. She has a potty pad in there, that thing in the back. She got a blanket and a potty pad, but I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go look for Olivia this morning. Because I had so much bags in my hand, I put this stuff down. But she wants to go poop. And I'm like, I'll be back. I'm trying to go find Olivia in the woods down the street. And I'm going to go to my house trying to see. Uh, she going to give me a little bit of help with what to do to try to catch her. Because it was freezing last night, so I hope she's still alive. I heard her in that woods, but like I said, you'll see it when I get down there. It's pretty, uh, if you look inside, they really want to go in there with it, about to get dark and everything. Yeah. I hate going in these woods for various different reasons. I don't want to be chasing to them. I don't want to be in them. Like, uh, I just don't want to be in them. Um, because in the morning time, deer come out of here, and... I don't know what's chasing it from out of there, you know. I don't know what's in there. So, because this is how it look. And it's cold out here. It has been really, really biting today. I don't know what you call it, crisp. The air is like dry and cold. This is not wet, though. But, yeah. I was in there yesterday calling Olivia, Olivia, and, um, Damn dog walked up on me. I hope that don't happen to you. I got to pick my trash up and everything, too. Because the dog's getting trash and get the trash all over the ground and stuff. She kind of jumped, like, right here when I was walking home. I was going. She jumped off what I had her on onto the ground. And I tried to pick her up. And she scurried over here into these dang gone woods here. And, yeah, like, she went over the log over the top and then down into there so i don't know what you call this but it's all wet and there's clovers and stuff all over the ground and it makes it difficult to walk in i don't hear her or see her so i'm going to try to be quiet a little bit i stank fish 
I just seen a black cat, so I'm not gonna say putting this food in here and leaving it. It's gonna draw her out, but you know, I got a big thorn in my foot yesterday. I just don't like being in here like this. I went up a little ways in. You could draw anything out. If I put her some food, like in the clearing, will she come and sit at clearing, eat the food so I can get her? You know? And she was left right there. Like, would you not be sitting under the tree? Like, why not? Why wouldn't you be? You know what I'm saying? Like, stay under the tree where it's warm at or where you don't have to go in the woods. I don't get that. So, anyway. I leave the food here because this is like pretty much where she was at. And I'm going to shut my mouth for a bit. I think she froze to death last night. Honestly, it was so cold. She was so tiny. Without a mom to keep her warm, I don't know. I don't care about it, but I'm just not willing to go like all up in that and get fall through a hole or something like look it's so uneven like I went all the way up in there to where that vine is right there Even my neighbor's house when we went out to find. I knew the kids would bring me good luck. Look, Olivia, turn around. Oh, we find her. She spent one whole night outside by herself. She made it. It's so cold. She was under the neighbor's house. She didn't get eaten by dogs or anything. And I'm thinking maybe she's, she's too young to stay with me. And she might need she's to go to her cold. mom's house for our, back to her mom. I, I didn't see her but I don't know. But I'm so happy to have her back. Thank you, Miss Coriana. And Miss, do you want to say something? Nari. They got it out together. What about me? Oh, leave What's a comment. What's up, Corey? Leave a comment below if what you think What about you? Think Thank you. Good job. Everybody, huh? leave a comment below if you think she should keep her. Okay. All right. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Say bye.